Uh, let everybody know Nicole was off this Nicole morning, so was off. it was not Nicole, edited with the, the editor with the off, proper yes. music. Yes. yes, Irene, nice to see you. Is Thank you for very me. nice to be back with you. Kara again. has the day off. We're uh, happy to have you. Nice oh, to see you. I love you your so dress. Much. Why? Thank you. Very. Uh, what are those irises? Um, Ponies. I don't know Peonies? what they are. Are they um, poinsettias? Um, I don't know. I don't There's know. Something. I don't know. There's something. There's some. They're flowers. It's something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I kind, of, I kind of clash with the rest of That's us. That's all right. But. Don't worry about it. I got the Christmas tie on. I got my Christmas socks on. I got... Uh Anyway, switching gears here, yes. uh, flags are flying at half staff today in remembrance of the 20 children and six educators who were killed at Sandy Hook Elementary School eight years ago. I can't believe it was eight years ago. Eight years ago. Our hearts and our love goes out to all of those families. Absolutely. And so many of them have shown, you know, shown so much strength. They've started foundations. They've started, you know, causes and our advocates. They've been just incredible over the last eight years and trying to help other people and other families. Resilience so, is the, just the word that comes resilience. to mind. And we're so. sending you our love today. Absolutely. We mm -hmm. love you. So just always remember that. All right. So today, so many people across the nation have been waiting for the shipments of the vaccine. Yeah. They an historic out. day. Yeah. Shipments of Pfizer's vaccine. They're going to start to arrive at hospitals. In fact, they're going to be arriving at Harvard Healthcare. They already, they already yeah, arrived. They already arrived. They already arrived actually yeah. this morning. And that shipment's going to be, you know, unloaded there. It's being unloaded all across the country today. Um, doctors say the side effects from this particular vaccine are usually very mild and might also include some pain at the injection site and possibly a fever or mild flu-like symptoms, and they say that is normal. Okay, so this is just an incredible day because usually vaccines like this take years. They're years in the making. Years, and but it's this December. Was December turned 14th. around in like months' time. Really, it's, so, they said it's like putting a man on the moon. Oh, like the, absolutely. Like, you know, some of the news organizations this morning were saying it was, it's, a, it's, a, it's the equivalent of putting the man on the moon is to get a vaccine out this quickly. Yeah, and they were saying that some of the employees at Pfizer at, you know, Kalamazoo, Mizzou, Michigan, where they, uh, you know, the manufacturer there, they were like, applauding well, as God it went out them. the door. I mean, God bless So, them. yeah. Unfortunately, sad news in the world of entertainment. Charlie Pride has died. He died on Saturday of complications from COVID. It was just a month ago. He was at the CMA Awards. Right. And he got honored with, uh, let's just listen. Um, what a voice. What a voice. What a oh, talent. The snakes crawl at night. He was an incredible what? performer. And, what, you know, he was, he yeah. was going to be, he wanted to be a professional baseball player. And he tried out for the New York Mets. They did not accept him, and he said, okay, I'm gonna concentrate yes. on my music career, and and they uh, rolled him out without showing what he looked like, because you know back in the day, there weren't too many African-American country singers. But and then he ended he up received. being the first African-American inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. God bless him, Charlie Pride, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, what a voice. And just, um, again, it was a month ago, he looked so healthy on the CMAs. I know. He, so, was a, he was an incredible talent. Unfortunately, dead at the age of 86. Mm -hmm. We will miss him greatly. Too bad. Well, big news yeah, how, happened how are you kids? early this morning. Yeah, as I was going out the door with my boys this morning, I got an alert on the Channel 3 app, actually, that Google had a worldwide outage. Okay, no. so this would affect Google Classroom, which for online learners is how they operate. So it's a huge, it's huge deal. It's amazing to think. Was there, was there a Google 10 years ago? <laughs> you know what I mean? I and now remember. we're completely reliant on it for every single thing we do. Yep. The outage like, you need did something? Come, go to yeah. Google. Yes, exactly. Just Google it. And, um, you the know, outage for did Google, come, you were saying? The Google Classroom, if that was how it, that would be, you know, that just shows you how reliant the online learners are on Google. That would be, you know, the day would be pretty much over. They couldn't, you know, function without it. Thankfully, it did come back about an hour later. It's so just amazing our, our reliance on that particular yes. web engine. Exactly. It's inc pretty incredible. You might not think about these things when the kids are at home learning, but if you don't have that, then like it's really Google hard Scott to do. Like if you Google Scott Haney, it'll come up, eats cat puke. <laughs> It's very interesting. Thank you, Google, for doing that. I had forgotten about that, but now you're reminding No, I, I'll, I'll remind you of it. <laughs> well, it's been a big success in just more than a year since it debuted. Disney Plus oh my gosh. is ready to take a big step forward in content with a corresponding hike in its monthly access fee. Yes, um, this has such, been such a huge success for them with The Mandalorian and some movies that just went on Disney Plus like Mulan. And 86 million subscribers, Irene, right. and they project that at least 230 million customers 
over the next few years will sign up. Right. That's it's just incredible. We're huge watchers of Disney+. You? Plus. You, you got huge it. Huge in our house because we're big Mandalorian fans. And um, the movie Mulan came out just on Disney+, Plus, and you had to pay extra for it, actually. But it was so worth it. What a wonderful movie that was. But, um, yeah, they've had a So huge... you don't mind paying the extra dollar a month? Actually, you know what happened is that if you're a Verizon customer, you, you have your cell phone service with them. Yeah. They give you a year of uh, Disney+, Plus free. Oh, my God, that's awesome. So, yeah, well, it's over after a year. I'm, I w I'm not a Verizon. I'm AT&T. Ah, yeah, there you there go. go. Dollar a month. Here it comes. <laughs> All right. And the annual family holiday card. I know I've been doing, I did this. Yes, uh, I got your card. And it's, I think I started with health, love, and joy. Mm -hmm. But I did start this year with health. And they're saying, saying words like joy and love are being swapped out for health and safety yes. instead. Yes, it's one of those years. It's like the language has changed for everything, including holiday cards but you know what i mean i think people oh, still like to get the holiday cards with happy faces absolutely. on them yes. i mean it really I, does I, I made sure that i did something kind of cute this year yeah absolutely and you did i did i'll share it with the audience <laughs> next week okay or actually this maybe later this week yeah later this week okay because it won't be yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're here, and I think we're in repeats next week because it's Christmas. But uh, anyway, I'll share it later this All right. week. Sounds All right, very good. good. All right, and this man, he bought an inflatable this? Grinch. An and inflatable he... Grinch that was <laughs> larger than his house. It was bigger. <laughs> okay. He bought it for his daughter, thinking that it was going to be like, you know, a typical inflatable. The thing is, th look at the size of that house. Oh, my goodness. Look at the garage next to the house. You can get a little perspective of just how big the house is and then just how big the Grinch is. Look at this that thing. That is amazing. Well, it looks like the guy but can afford it. But how fun, though, right? Oh, my God. It's incredible. Imagine that waking up. so look, huge. Daddy, the Grinch is outside our window. But, he certainly is. And this you know window. That, yeah. And this window. <laughs> But you know what? That, that's what happens when you order things online. You got to read the fine print, right? Absolutely. <laughs> like the one lady ordered a couch, and it was the size of a, for a dollhouse. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that says it says in this article. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So that's you got to be careful good. what you order on Amazon. You might just get it. Exactly Did you hear about right. this? The lottery. Fifty people won the same ticket. Uh, Fifty people won the Massachusetts lottery game. Mass cash on Sunday, a record. That's according to the agency there. So, for a dollar. So these weren't yeah. 50 people who played together. These were 50 individual people yes. who didn't know each other and yeah. played all the same number. Which is so wild. Um, like, think um, about that. Imagine that. It's not like, you know, an office pool or something no, like that. 50 or, people you know. are going to share in the prize, which is incredible. The That's crazy. Previous record was 34 people had matched the tickets. But which is unbelievable too. Which is unbelievable. I would think if five people matched it, it would be <laughs> <Me> unbelievable. <too. laughs> anyway. Me too. All right, for all the latest celebrity news, plus much more, watch People TV right here on Channel 3 at 7.30. Here's Kay and Lawrence for a preview. Tonight on People, I go one-on-one -on -one with Heidi Klum. When is the last time your husband did something extra romantic for you? Mm, the last time my husband did something extra romantic for me? kind of does all the time, like maybe this morning when he brought me coffee in the bed and I was tired. He always oh. does because he, I mean, that's why I married him. You know, he's, he's a real um, gentleman. When is the last time you learned a TikTok dance with your kids? That answer tonight as well as Taraji P. Henson and Gretchen Carlson joins us with the story of the first transgender Senator Sarah McBride. It's all tonight on People. All right, sounds good.